And go. You filming now? Right now. Go hey ahead. guys, it's Rudy with the Talking Pools podcast. I got this thing that they sent me. It's called a Vac Daddy. I promised them I'd check it out, so that's what we're doing. Here's the pool we're at here. 731,000 gallons. We're going to give the Vac Daddy the test and see how it does. Right now, I'm just going to try to figure out how to hook it up without reading the instructions because, damn it, that's how I do it. There's a lot of suction to this, actually. Yeah. Surprisingly. It is still a little bit awkward with the internal cam on the pole. Right. It's starting to unlock on me because of the weight of the unit. I'm going to get myself some more cord out too. They're going to complain that I have not done. Learning curve. Do I immediately get a knot? No! So we're vacuuming 731,000 gallons of water. 1,000 with the Vac Daddy. And I still hate the name. We've decided that we might call it Yo Mama, but I think you gotta keep it submersed, otherwise it's not gonna work. Probably not your answer for waiting pools on something that gets light debris. This isn't really all that bad. I like the way it plugs in. It handles a lot better in deeper water than it does in shallower water. I think I need a beefier pole to use it. I wouldn't go with one of your standard poles, but you wanna try it, Scott? I just meant, do you want to try it and see if it's something that your guards would actually look, use? Do you want to try it? You, are you a guard? I am. Do you vacuum? I do vacuum every now and then. We think it sucks. We're going to say it sucks. I can tell you the name sucks, but outside of that, more of a pole issue. It's smooth. Smooth? Smooth. So We have battery powered ones, so they, they are quieter than this one. And it stops sucking once it gets up there? Yeah. Once it, okay. Could you guys do the whole pool with this? Definitely not these, uh, the very shallow parts. Okay, but. We, we would have to stop about right here and then, because we have to leave do pile up. On the sides? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just not deep enough. And we're at a foot and a half there on the sides. So, very specific problem for this particular pool, but I mean, it looks like something that you could definitely use in the other. Of the... I mean, would this be better than the hammerhead in the rest of the pool? Let me ask you that. What do you, just so from your really initial up, two minutes. The, the battery is very uh, portable because we can just wheel it around, but this is going to have to be near an outlet the whole time. If you had unlimited electrical capability, mm -hmm. which is the better choice? Hmm. The setup wasn't as, it was about the same. Yeah. Taking uh, it out of the what back. About, what about pull. cleanup? I imagine that's a cartridge filter in there. Turn it off, let him pull, we'll have Zach pull it out and clean it right now. See, see what we think. We just have to empty a bag on the other one. Same thing, but I'll show you where it is. All right. We'll see how that goes. It should be. Yep. Just lay it down, the whole unit. We're going to unhook this. Easy? Definitely not going to uh, hold as much as the yeah. big net from hammerhead or back. Yeah, so the, uh, and we pointed that out. One of the things they said in response to that was is the speed in which you can empty the bag, though, compared to they thought it even would even out. Well, we have, uh, I forgot the microns on the bags that we have, but we can actually pick up soot. And we have those options sand. there as well. We oh, have really? options of different bags. There was okay. about, what, four or five different bags in there? So what do you think? I mean, with all those options, then, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. The only downside, I mean, if we could sink this down, yeah, which it looks like we you can, have then we can get um, mm -hmm. a little bit. What do you two think? Thoughts? I'm impressed. Yeah. You're impressed? Well, there you go. Trial of the Vac Daddy portable vac system. Overall, I think everybody was pretty impressed. It actually performed better than I thought it would. In the right amount of water, it's not bulky. It's easy to remove it. Uh, easy to seemed like they were interested, at least looking into it further. So of all the things that I get sent, I'd have to say this is pretty good. Now, as far as how it does with any type of a heavy debris load, time will tell. I'll give you an update. I don't know, the bag's tiny and I still hate the name. We're gonna see how the guard at this facility who normally vacuums the pool, um, thinks it compares to the hammerhead. As far as maneuverability, definitely, weight. Definitely easier to move. It's easier to move? Yeah, than the hammerhead that we have. Okay.
I think you need the water a little deeper than the hammerhead, though. What do you think? Yeah. Because the hammerhead's good up to the back of the unit. This one looks like it's good up to the back of the container before we start to lose suction. Right. We could maybe slide it down the pole. Yeah. I mean, the hose is pretty flexible. Yeah. We have a couple more inches there. The reach is going to be the same because that's dependent upon the pole. It is picking up the debris. So really then it just comes down to the capacity of that smaller net. If this is the extent of the debris that you get. <laughs> well, I mean, a day. A day. Not vacuuming this every day. Right. But they do say that the bag is quick and easy though to change out. Zach, you want to give it a go and see what you think? Compared to the hammerhead, let me know your thoughts. What's your position here, sir? I'm the uh, Aquatics Recreation Leader for the City of Gainesville. Aquatic Recreation Leader, City of Gainesville. Comparing the Vac Daddy to the hammerhead they normally use, 731,000 